We are witnessing the achievements of mankind in the field of renewable energy and advanced technologies intended for the development of a green economy. Expo Day 46. Facade of algae, a new German technology suggests for buildings to use this kind of cladding. Microalgae are placed in special glass boxes. Due to sunlight and nutrition with carbon dioxide, they grow in size. Later grown algae are used in the form of biomass produced. Methane is used for the production of thermal or electrical energy. Here is uncellular algae, the most common. It turns out they are constantly circulating among themselves and go up. They settle there and in a special tank algae is collected. Then they go through the heat treatment and are burned, and we get energy from this. Thus the house itself provides heat. Also it has solar panels that also collect energy and provides it to the house. The first house with such a facade appeared in Hamburg. Almost 130 panels are installed on both sides of it. The stronger the sunlight, the more saturated the color of the water in the panels. This is due to the process of photosynthesis. In the summer, this facade perfectly shadows the building. Specialists also note noise insulation properties. On the example of this house, the algae facade covers 15% of the consumed thermal energy. The system can work all year round. Miss Mary Werlich knows what energy efficiency is very well. She's from the United States. She's the special envoy of the Office for Energy Resources. Every green technology for her is not just an innovation. It's a new opportunity for energy production, jobs and economic benefits. The guest says that Americans themselves are actively moving to smart technologies, building green homes and saving energy. Even the whole market has been created. For today, three million people are employed in the sphere of green technologies in the United States. Expo 2017 is obviously a, a wonderful and really important way to um, showcase um, opportunities for investment in the clean and renewable energy sector. And uh, I know that Kazakhstan has set some important goals for itself in that regard. 3% um, renewables, if I'm not mistaken, by 2020 and 10% by 2030. And um, I think uh, having really the world stage um, to present uh, the technologies that are available in this sector, uh, of course at the Kazakhstan Pavilion, but at all of the other pavilions to um, get uh, countries thinking about ways in which they can invest in uh, new and innovative uh, fields of energy. Ms. Warlick visits Kazakhstan as part of her business visit. If you look at her track record, she mainly worked in the diplomatic sector, responsible for cooperation with the countries of the Eurasian region. She is well aware that the energy market is also very important in the political arena. Therefore, the theme of the exhibition Future Energy can positively affect the sphere too. At the World Exhibition in Astana, you can learn about the most picturesque and paradise countries, the islands of the globe. Meet St. Keats and Nevis, a state consisting of two islands in the Caribbean Sea. The total area of the country is 261 square kilometers, and the population is more than 50,000 people. Summer here lasts all year round. The abundance of sun, coral reefs, vast forests and mountains with boiling volcanoes attract tourists from around the world. Their geography is suitable not only for the tourists sector, but also for the development of solar and geothermal energy. In February, and we found an abundance of geothermal energy, plenty of it, to the point where we are very confident that it can power both islands. Mind you, we're very small, so it's not that difficult. Power both islands was enough to power other islands. That's a plan in the next two to three years and perhaps be the only nation in the Caribbean to be completely on geothermal energy. That's a very, very big feat. 
The scorching sun also serves the good for the country. Their airports, government offices, and even private homes are supplied with solar panels. The country in the near future plans to reach 80% of electricity generation from solar and geothermal energy. Tropical islands are also rich in vegetation. In large numbers, people grow sugarcane, the waste of which serves as a biomass for obtaining heat and energy. A small island country is also proud of the production of sweets. At the exhibition, they treat visitors with sweets from coconut, molasses, ginger, and cinnamon.